Hi guys, Chris Duckman, Body Engineer. I'd like to share with you today one of the most important aspects of our work, which is the initial assessment when somebody comes through the door for the very first time. This is a test that was shared to the world by uh, an amazing guy, Stanley Rosenberg. I highly recommend you read his book, Accessing the Healing Power of the Vagus Nerve, Stanley Rosenberg. Very simple, written in layman's language, but it contains a wealth of knowledge um, that is, is useful for anyone, not just body workers. The test itself, all you need to do is, we use this little medical inspection light at the clinic, but you can use the light off a mobile phone. And all you're gonna do is, the person that you're working with or that you'd like to check, ask them to open their mouth. And when you have a look in the roof of the mouth, you'll see the tonsils dangling down or uvula. Now this is what we're interested in and we're checking for two things. We're gonna ask the person to go, ah, 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 because we have to have a distinct make or break. It doesn't work if it's a long drawn out ah. We need a make and break to be able to check what we're looking for. And what we're looking for is two things, either deviation of the uvula. So if somebody goes ah, the two muscles above, called levator veli palatini muscles, every time the person goes ah, they should lift. So ah, ah. And the uvula is basically like a puppet on two strings, so it should elevate. Ah, ah. If it deviates to one side, left or right, then that is clinical confirmation that that branch of the ventral vagus nerve is not functioning. Okay? That gives us, in a few seconds, clinical confirmation that that person is stuck in some degree of fight or flight. So we're looking for two things. That's the first thing we're checking is deviation of the uvula. Now, if someone's had their tonsils removed um, or the uvula is very small or you don't notice a lot of movement on it, then another good confirmation that you can get is to look in the roof of the mouth above the uvula. You'll see the two little indents where the muscles are located. They're only small muscles, but they're very powerful. So you can initially look at the uvula and if you're not too sure, look at the two muscles above the uvula in the roof of the mouth. Ask the person to repeat again, ah, ah, ah and look at the muscles. You normally find that there's a distinct differential between the two. One is moving maybe much greater or much higher than the other one. So again, that's clinical confirmation that the nerve is at least partially compromised, okay? So remember, check for deviation of the uvula, check for symmetry of the muscle engagement, and then we can do the self-help technique, which is in one of the other videos on the channel for you. And then you can repeat this straight after they've done the self-help technique, or indeed, if you're a practicing therapist, whether it's new vision therapy or your own practice, once you've done your work, let's get into the habit of assess, intervene with our therapeutic intervention, and then reassess to make sure that our, our work has been successful. So even after the self-help technique, there should be a noticeable improvement of generally 50 to 100% in the angle of deviation of the uvula. Okay, it just means as therapists that we are not working through this resistance, not only neurologically from the vagus nerve, but also uh, looking at it from a musculoskeletal perspective, we're not working through a tight sternocleidomastoid trapezius. Remember the jugular fura minor, that junction between occiput and temporal, affords a pathway for cranial nerves 9, 10 and 11. So by doing the self-help technique, you not only release cranial nerves 9 and 10, but we release the accessory nerve, which deactivates those tight shoulder muscles. So whether it's massage, talking therapies, or, or hands-on other approaches, this is an amazing technique to be able to determine if that person is stuck in fight or flight, and then reassess after the intervention. So thank you, Stanley, for sharing that with the world, and enjoy it, and share this with as many people as you can. Take care.